Hello there. I've just finished editing my latest blog. Uh, it is being uploaded as I as I talk now uh, onto our website. If you go to the description in the video, you can have a, yeah, a read through. Um, I'm covering in the uh, in the blog, and, and I'll and I'll I want to talk about it a little bit today on the, in the video today um, about attracting the right tenant. Um, I'm speaking directly to a question we get asked often. You know, we, we we run a discovery call where uh, we've got um, loads of different la uh, landlords or want to be landlords on the call, and one of the questions we get from um, well, I always think it's from from sort of um, inexperienced or, or new or, or investors without any properties. But actually, I started writing this blog, and lots of lots of things and thoughts sort of crystallise, and um, I realised that uh, I, I haven't been paying. We make quite light work of this. It works, and we always find a tenant. Um, but but I'm, I was trying to understand why we do that and why this question that keeps getting asked by other landlords, because it's not just the inexperienced ones, it is also some of the more experienced ones. Um, why I, I, we've been almost dismissing it because it's not a problem to us. Uh, and the question is, you know, you know, phrased in various different ways, you know, for a brand new landlord, um, what, what if these properties don't rent out? It's all very well buying the properties and renovating them, but what if you can't rent a property out? Uh, and then I started to realise, you know, looking through and speaking to some landlords, some landlords do struggle to rent properties out. They're genuinely, they've got them and they can't rent them out. Uh, we dismiss that kind of question almost out of hand because we've never not rented a house out. I can't remember the last time that a house you know, stuck around and didn't rent. Um, I can't remember, like decades ago, you know, almost, almost 10, 15 years. There are occasions when you know, it might take one or two weeks, you know, not, not so instantly, and there are some things we do in our process which mean, which mean it actually takes longer. You know, we could rent them out quicker than we do. I will explain a little bit about that as well, and, and I have done in the blog. Uh, but there's, it's never in doubt that we're going to rent this thing out. Um, so, yeah, speaking to that, the blog is all about how to present the property. Um, it's always a combination of price, of course. I mean, if you put it on at the high price, it will never rent, of course, if it's too high a price, of course. Uh, so you've got to be, be realistic. Um, we have a process in our business for the landlords.com. I have a process. I, I run it as a landlord of my own. Uh, we have what we call our three lines of defence. And we call them that. You know, it's to stop a bad tenant getting into your house. Because once you give them the keys, you really, it's not really defence after that. You should have the right tenant. It should be a good relationship. You don't. There's a tendency, and, and you read about it in the media, and some landlords have still got this attitude to this sort of adversarial relationship between a tenant. You just don't want that. You know, it should be a, a nice partnership. You should be uh, you know, confident enough in your tenant to know that they're going to be trusting that you know, trust them to look after the house and pay the rent and and all those things. Um, until you get to that point, until you hand over the keys, there's plenty of tenants or would-be tenants that we wouldn't give the keys to. Absolutely, uh, and so we have what we call our three lines of defence. The three lines of defence, the first one, it's, it's the property itself. It's you as a landlord saying, um, I'm, I'm determined to be a good landlord, you know, um, and good landlords provide decent quality homes. Also, deep, good, good landlords, it's, it's, a, it's a nice it's a symbiotic thing. They make the most amount of money. You know, this idea that maybe a, you know, a bad landlord you know, cutting corners is greedy and makes more money. They're not. They're just lazy and they actually make less money. If you're a good landlord, you have a high bar and everything works well. You have a high performance, uh, almost premium business in some ways. Um, the tenant gets the better end of the deal and you would make more money. They, yeah, it's a myth that you can cut corners and make more money. You don't. You cut corners, you have hassle and, 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 and you lose money. So, yeah. Um, first, first line of defence is you being a good landlord and because you're a good landlord, you bring a good quality property product to the market. So that's line of defence number one. Uh, line of defence number two is to choose the right tenant and line of defence number three is perfect paperwork. That's kind of We'll put that to the one side. So let's talk about you, know, you bring in the right property to the market. Um, the idea that um, you want to provide a, a decent and safe home to a tenant is key. That 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 that's got to be your overarching idea. Um, you want to look at what the market is offering, 
and aim to deliver something that's in the, the top 10% of that. Now, if you went on to our website, uh, if you went to fortherenters.com, we're a business called fortherlandlords.com, you're a landlord probably, or you want to be a landlord, you're watching these videos, uh, we have a, a separate website, it's not a separate business, a separate website called fortherenters.com, and you look at the properties that are for rent on there. Uh, you'll see different properties in different areas. Uh, they're different values of properties, of course. And um, you're looking at the pictures and they are different uh, specifications, you know, quality specifications. But one thing is always true, whether you're looking at a, a plain vanilla box uh, or a slightly more upmarket property. If you were to compare it like for like for other properties in the same areas, ours would be in the top percent, top 10%. So even that plain vanilla box, you, know, you look around a quarter of a mile area, um, you know, it's not perhaps the most affluent of areas, you know, at a rent of sort of five or 600 pounds a month. It's a, you know, a vanilla, vanilla box, make no apologies for it. Um, compared with other properties on the market to rent, it's, it's, it's streets ahead, light, light years ahead, you know, clean, um, New carpets, where or, or, or freshly clean, clean carpets. You know, we 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 would regularly, if it, if it had a a problem with the carpet on the last tenant, we would change it and, and keep it keep it top 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 notch spec. Regularly redecorate. It's just magnolia paint and brown carpets, but it, and, and white gloss work. But when you look at it compared with everything else, it looks right. Um, a modern kitchen, nicely maintained. If there's damage on the last tenancy, it comes out of the deposit. But we'll we'll make sure. That, I think that some landlords might pocket the deposit but not fix the problem. It is their prerogative to do that, it's wear and tear and of course the kitchen will need replacing at some time so they're within their rights to take that deposit. But I would rather not take the deposit as income, I'd rather keep the asset looking how it needs to be so I can always uh, attract the right tenant. Um, so anyway, it's all it's all in the um, in the uh, in the blog there. Click on there, have a read through. To me, th this is the answer to you, to your question. How 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 do I ensure my property is always full with the right tenants? Um, you have got to choose the right tenant. That's all part of the, uh, the the process as well. We can talk about that later if you wanted to. You know, if you have a perfect property and you know, a nice, decent, safe home, you've got to make sure you hand over the keys to a decent tenant and. An un unworthy tenant will gladly take those keys from you. Uh, you've just got to make sure that you've got that, that high bar. We've got a very high bar. And I say um, some of our properties take longer to rent because you know, we're trying to find that, that high bar. We've got a really good product to rent, a nice, nice property that is worthy of uh, waiting for a decent tenant. Probably say no to at least 20, at least 20 if not 30 tenants, applicants or, or would-be applicants on the phone. Um, maybe a dozen viewings and, and then we pick the best tenant. So it's worth waiting. Don't just go for the first tenant that's uh, you know, got a pulse and five or six hundred pounds deposit in their hand. Uh, but yeah, so, so, and be prepared if they fail referencing to throw them back. Absolutely do that. So that's when sometimes it can take a bit longer, but the interest should start from day one. And the final bit of paperwork, um, third line of defence I was talking about is, is perfect paperwork. Make sure that's there. It's worth pointing out that we're a letting agency. Um, if you want to, if you're a landlord, you've got properties and you want a letting agency to look after your the, the management of your properties, renting them, managing them long term uh, with the kind of diligence that I'm talking about now in the blog and, and, and here and, and the rest of the YouTube channel, be in touch in the description. There's a there's a uh, uh, an option to join a discovery call. It's on Zoom. We do it regularly a few times a month. Join the call, uh, hear how we do what we do. Um, yeah, we, we uh, I guess the probably the flagship KPR would be our arrears rate. Um, when we're talking about all the things we do, one of the last things we talk about is, is the money. We think about it first, it's the point, but we know that by having the three lines of defence and then there's three management focuses and all sorts of things that we do in the business, it boils down to, you know, all that hard work beforehand boils down to an arrears rate. We've got an under 1% arrears rate. Out of all the all the rent that needed collecting, we got 99 and a bit percent of it, um, and that's at the end of the day because of all the hard work we put put up uh, uh, up front. So, if you're looking for that kind of letting agency, I suggest you probably are. Um, get in touch. Look at uh, go to Discovery App um, on on the on the website or in the link. Um, Discovery App is the email address, and you you can you can book a, a discovery call uh, from there. The link to the blog is also there. Hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy the rest of the channel. There's plenty to explore. Hit subscribe 
and they'll keep coming through to you uh, once every week. Bye for now.